Hey all you Pokemon crazes out there, welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. This is episode 28 of Pokemon Emerald. Yes, that was a mouthful, but indeed it was worth it. In the last episode, we conquered the Weather Institute, because Team Aqua went in there and we had to one-up them, like always, and stuff like that. And it rolls. Ah, it rolls. Alright, grab here, go here, grab here. And you'll find an elixir. We obviously know what that does. If you don't know, watch all my videos. And <laughs> find out which part I say it in. Alright. Um, we're actually gonna use a oh let's just use the repel. Yeah, there's actually a few items you can get on this river. Let's just quickly go up here, I kinda wanna tell you guys something. Okay, these waterfalls up here actually also serve a um a purpose. P -p 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 purpose. <laughs> Um, if you have HM08 Waterfall, which don't worry, we're not actually going to get that for a while now, so you can actually scale this waterfall and you can actually get some pretty good items and you can actually access places that you could not normally access. Go down here, farther, oops, even more farther, wasting our repel. Wait, there could be a hidden item back there, yeah, whatever. Go further down, all the way down over here. By the way, see that tree over there, that big tree? big pine tree. The repel just ran up, so I don't really want to screw it. Let's just put on another. We're going to have two enemies. Okay. This pine tree right here, the, the, you could build a hidden base right here, I believe. I believe you can. Yeah, if you have super power. Yep. Yeah, that would actually be my place to build one. I, I, I think I did. Because that is ultimately the most secretive base in the game, I think. Because it's just so far down. Anyways, speaking of far down, you can grab a leaf stone right here, which will... Um, if you have a, um... A, um, a gloom, a weeping bell, or something else. I cannot think of any other Pokemon that evolved with that. Ah, well, hmm. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh snap, who is this? JD, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go. I'm not saving this because of the fight. This fight's... I don't want to change it, but... I'm actually going to save because... Um, I didn't save before the end of last episode, so... If in a case we do lose... Or something happens, um, I'll get sidetracked all the way back to another ep an episode back, which would not result well. So, yeah, just for the safe measures. Plus, if we accidentally lose, so yeah. all right. So May is relatively stronger. Um, this fight in the past, I think a few one time it's given me some problems. Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, there we go. In the past, it may have given me some trouble. Um, I think once or something. When I played Sapphire, I think it gave me a few troubles, but yeah, I think that was about it. I mean, this fight, it sh may fight, you know, a few of them in the beginning of the game might give you a few problems, but this fight, all in all, it, it's not that, it's not that um, hard. But um, as you can see, she does have a Lombardy now. I don't know if she had one last time. I honestly can't even recall. I don't even know when the last time we fought May. <laughs> May. Is this sticky? Revile, stay in. The blob's just a one man wrecking crew. Alright. Leaf Blade. That's not gonna do anything. Because the blob <laughs> is the poison type May. Get your facts right. Ah, Grovile. Alright. It's super effective. No crap. Alright. Um. Okay. Ah, GD, you're strong. <laughs> I was worried that you might be struggling with your training. How dare you say that to me? That's mean. But I did absolutely nothing to worry. Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. HMO2. Wait for it. Fly! Oh my god. Ah, finally. This game has been the most latest game ever 
to not have fly issued to you. Oh my god, it's, we're almost in the sixth city, believe it or not, spoiler alert. Oh crap, here comes pedophile, mm, Scott, I meant. Ah ha ha, way to go, GD. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat a trainer. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was perf It was pretty obvious that you did. That kid looked really upset with a face all red from anger. I sure seem to run you into you often. Are you off to Fort Tree Gym next? <laughs> I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, oh, <laughs> I cannot read in that voice. All right, um, that was Scott, Mr. Scotto, the Pado, Pado. And yeah, um, and yeah. <laughs> All right, hit me with that power cord. Victory is mine. It is our time to shine. Oh yeah. Is he on drugs? By the way, that sprite always reminds me of um, Eminem or Marshall Mathers. Some of you may know him as. Yeah, I know him personally. I'm just kidding. That's what he he kind of reminds me of what he used to look like back um, when he was younger. So yeah. Okay, this is a Manac Drake. Hit me with another power cord. Leave me alone. Your your win you have to atone. All right, here's one of these incognito dudes. And yeah. I admit defeat. Obviously, if you don't, you're kind of a kind of win. I'm seeable. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I don't want to spoil what that is, but we'll come across that bridge once it becomes available to us. To us. Tide and tree use a forest. That's a really good quote. Very good quote. Nature Boy Hideo. Very good quote, man. Very good quote. Very good quote. Alright, let's just body slam. But the fact that coughing is a defensive tank. Alright, let's just go into Mr. Mud and surf this surf this guy. And let's mugshot actually. Oh levitate. My bad. <laughs> My Pokemon IQ is just becoming very, very rusty over the years, to be honest with you. Like, um, I actually took a hiatus from Pokemon um, for probably a year. Because, you know, Pokemon after Pokemon Black and White came out, I played a few times and kind of just stopped. And, you know, then I, I played Minecraft and stuff, and in Minecraft is still... I've, I've been playing a lot. Um, so still and um, so Pokemon I you know I, to be honest with you I haven't played Pokemon since a year ago um, and I kind of just started playing again once I've been doing this Emerald LP so yeah um, I did get Pokemon black and white 2 on the first day however I kind of stopped playing that just because I've been you know I've been playing Minecraft and I've just been busy overall in life and stuff so I honestly didn't really have the time and also the motivation Pokemon you know, obviously I'm into it now again, but why don't we go to the PC? This is what happens when I rant on. I kind of just wander and stuff. So, anyways, we're in Fortree City. Fortree City is by far one of my favorite cities of all time, next to Ecrutic City. And yeah, I cannot really name cities off the bat. Ecrutic City and probably. Lavender Town. I'm just kidding. I hate Lavender Town. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, we're actually gonna buy some items here since um, now that we're in the um, best city in terms of items so far, and probably the best city in terms of design, at least personally for me, we're actually gonna buy um, just buy three hyper potions. We don't need that much. It's it's just just in case. And um. Uh, whoa, 68. Snap, we don't need that much. Um, let's just get 10. You know, we have a, quite a few already. Um, let's just get... 3 Paralyzed Heals. Oh, I don't have enough room in my bag? Oh, I hate when this happens. It's so awkward. You buy something. You don't have enough room in your bag. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's throw away... Leaf Stone, we honestly don't really need that, but... I bet some of you guys would get pissed off at that if I did. Let's throw it. We don't need mail. Mail's 
it's pointless unless you're into Pokemon carrying random. I I don't even you know mail. It's I don't know. It's, at least in my book, it's pointless. Okay, let's actually get. I kind of I want a lot of revives. Skip eight. Yeah. So um, I think that's good. Um, we don't really need anything else. The city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Why, even myself, I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. Alright, this guy's holding the like, Game Boy. There are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. Alright. Interesting. Yeah, I like how you climb these ladders to get up and then you walk across this. Plus, hear this, it makes a really cool sound. That's so cool. I, I love Four Tree City. Leave it on top of trees is okay, but sometimes bug Pokemon come in through windows and it can be really startling. More like annoying. Alright, let's talk to him. Pokemon and people have adapted to a nature for survival. There's no need to make nature confirm to the way we want to live. Alright. The tree houses of Four Tree are great. I think it's the number one town for living together in Pokemon. Yeah, I guess. Zigzagoon. Bafu. Alright, so this guy has some interesting words to say. Alright. Welcome. How may I serve you? Oh yeah, okay, this is where you can buy um, accessories for your secret power room. Secret power. Your, yeah, well, I guess secret. Your, like, your secret base that actually you need your secret power to access to. So yeah, you can buy some accessories and stuff. Um, They're very very expensive to be honest with you yeah look at that yeah there's no way i would drop two thousand bucks on a small chair what is this small chair merchandise you buy here is sent to your own pc that's fantastic i wish they could also deliver me i l also wish they could i wish they could also deliver me home like that Um, okay, well, anyways, I'm buying a pretty desk, and I'm putting my cute dolls on it. If I don't, when I, if I don't, when I decorate my secret base, my dolls will get dirty or poked with splinters. Oh, now I know, okay. Remember when we are customizing our secret base and our mudkip doll, I believe, what we were using? Whatever, a doll? We couldn't put on a, um, something? Yeah, you need to place doll, you need to place dolls on the desk because I remember when we when I was showcasing the secret base when I tried to place the doll on the floor I remember it couldn't even get placed and I was kind of spazzing out turns out that you need to um, actually have a small I believe a desk for something to put a doll on it so if you want to drop two thousand bucks on a small desk be my guest but I'll pass on that All right, what do you have to say no one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to swarm as it flew toward Route 131. By the way, Sniff, um, you, uh, smell sin. Sin, ugh, sin. Were you at a volcano or something? Wow, indeed. That was a while ago, so I don't know how you can sense that still. After all, the bot, okay. I did not pick up what you said, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we forgot to go into this tree top building. There, go bird Pokemon. Okay. By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends. And that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. Search for trainers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um remember how we fought Gabby and Ty? Route 118, yes, that was a few episodes back. And um Basically, I'll tell you how, yeah, okay, today we turned our lens on the Trainer GD. I'll just read this, and you guys can kind of grasp the concept of what they're saying and the context while I'm reading. There's something about this trainer that pick that, I've never came across that word before, to be honest. I'm just going to say, picked our interest? Peaked our interest, I'm just going to say that. We've battled GD before, but we can attest that the trainer has most definitely improved from before. I knew we were on to some, someone special when we spotted this trainer. 
the best way to determine how strong a trainer is, well, the fastest way is to battle. And so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in a battle of GD. In a dominating performance, we were flattened. Performance, I'm sorry. We were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. God, that's kind of dark. GD is ruthlessly strong. Wow, nice bright adjectives there. Here's our impressions after having battled our featured trainer. The combination of Marsh Stomp and Lilip were to was to find Oh Lilip, come on. What a joke. Lilip's a freeloader. The sight of them Marsh Stomp and Lilip self selflessly supporting each other in the thick of a in thick of battle. Oh my god. It sounds like they're using bad grammars or just me reading. I don't know. It was mar it was a marvelous sight to behold. Surf was the move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Surf is Marsh Stomp and Lilip sign of friendship. Wow. Too bad in Generation 5, that would be the sign of death for Lilip, since I don't think it could take a Surf well. After our battle, we asked GD for a sustained summary. The trainer replied, Abra. GD's Pokemon, Marsh Stomp and Lilip. And Abra. Hmm. That's deep. That's deep significance behind that quote that's no surprise it's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say that's all for today see you again on the next broadcast all right and the tv magically turns off and yeah so yeah so that was that was um that was that <laughs> what's what's that thing you have there oh it's called the pokedex it's really awesome Fantastic. Well, speaking about Pokedexes, I remember something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was searching for rare stones. Oh boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. No shroomish, alright? No shroomish. Alright, great, there's the wise people. Hero powers are... I don't even want to read this. I don't even want to read this. Oh, never mind. Now tell me, I've palm. Right. Oh, yes, correct. We shall try again. Okay. What? <laughs> Troll. <laughs> My wife relies on hidden power to stay awake. She should just take a nap like I do and sleep talk. I can teach you. Both. Thank you, old man, but we'll save that for later. You're a good man, you know that, though. Basically, Sleep Talk allows you, if your Pokemon is fell asleep, it'll allow you to use, um, you'll basically pick a random move out of any of your move pool. So, for example, if Mr. Mud had Sleep Talk, um, it would randomly pick one of his moves out of three, though, since you already have Sleep Talk onto him. Any Pokemon can learn Sleep Talk. Anyone. So, it's a very interesting move. I don't recommend teaching it since it's, it's not rare, but it's a very... Like, the chances of your Pokemon being asleep in battle, and it, like, it's not astronomical rare, but it's just, for, for you to waste a move, to fill up a move, to teach something sleep talk, I don't, it's much more of a competitive move in competitive battling, which I absolutely just, like, I don't despise, but I don't, I don't like competitive battling, like, I'm not into it. So, if you're a competitive battler, then, um, sleep talk's definitely an interesting move, depending on the Pokemon you have. Alright. Whoa, I need to get... Yeah, so she's actually gonna trade, so if you have a Volby, she'll trade it for her Plusle. Um, I recommend you don't do this trade because you can catch a Volbeat. Um, you can actually catch a Plusle back um, south of Maville City. However, you can also you can also catch a Volbeat um, west of Maville City um, on the route that the daycare is on. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, I I don't recommend using a Plusle or a Volbeat. It's just it's just a very useless trade either way. So. Yeah, so that's a grandma. Alright. And yeah, I think that's it for the dialogue and the citizens of Four Tree City. So again, one of my favorite cities of all time. 
And last but not least, the gym. <gasps> Doesn't that ring a bell? Hmm. Fascinating. All right, enough with the gimmicks. Let's just get to the bottom of this. All right, so you actually want to go all the way out to Route 120. And there's going to be a few trainers here. Obviously, would be a route without any trainers. More. Um. Yeah, let's switch to Mr. Blobster and get some. So, Mr. Sticky Slow 31. Wow. I may have to keep the experience here on him though because he has a really crappy move set and I don't really want him to get I don't really want him to support himself because he has a very bad move set, so Yeah. Mega Drain. Mega Drain. Alright. Wait, in fact, you know what? I actually have an idea. We actually have some TMs I could maybe teach. Ah, Rock Tomb, yes. Rock Tomb, like I said, when we first got it, it's a very weak move to have. Yeah. What, is there a sticky cannot lure it? <laughs> Snap. Right, apparently not. I can learn anything. Um. Can learn Shockwave? I'm interested, maybe. Okay, no, well, the Nelican. The Blob can. Can the Blob learn Thunderbolt? Nope. Vanilla can. It's weird. I think we're gonna we're actually gonna teach Shockwave to the Blob since believe it or not, this gym this upcoming gym's Shockwave is gonna be very useful, so. Yeah, I'm sorry, I kind of have a runny nose right now. Oh god, I hate these. Sorry if I'm hitting the mic with my hand. It's just to clear the way. Um, yeah. Amnesia, I always wanted to use. I always just kept it around just for the heck of it. I think we're going to forget it, though, to be to be honest, because or should we forget Eon? Yeah. Um, yeah, Amnesia, it's, if I ever really want it back, I can always just Call up the move tutor, move tutor and relearn it. So, yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna teach a shockwave because it, it, I think shock. I'm gonna use shockwave much more than I am amnesia. Let's face it, because I haven't even used amnesia yet. Granted that I haven't really needed any situation where I needed to use it, but you know it's obviously a good move if I'm ever going up against elite four. But that's not till a while, so you know. It's, Alright, why can't we get down here? Um, okay, well... <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Gabby and Ty, I believe. We just faced them, like, a few episodes back. Now let's face them again. Um... I slam you. I punch you. Toxic. <gasps> the Blobs were to learn Toxic. Yes, okay. Um, here's the thing, though, with Toxic. My actual plan is, um, one of the final moves that I want to have on Leap is Toxic. The Blob, I wasn't actually planned to have Toxic equipped to it. Because I kind of want the Blob to be more of a... I don't know, but I think we're actually going to teach Toxic to the Blob. Because Toxic's a very good move. Plus, um, I might actually have a change in mind, maybe with the leap and I might want to have blob have the toxic and since we only have one toxic TM it'll be good to have um, the blob have access to the toxic move actually learn while leveling up if you understand that and I think we're gonna forget no wait 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 no okay <laughs> don't do the water gun thing but yeah let's forget Yon because you know Yon's a useful move but I think yeah, I, I, I think Toxic would be much more ideal. Especially for the Blob, I think. Alright. Yeah. 
sure. Um, I think we're actually gonna do... Adjectives. Anticipation. We're anticipating future events, I guess. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Oh, Mar oh. oh, I hate Marill. Oh, let's get that out of my face. Alright, what do you want? Oh, it's a swamp blue. It's a swamp blue. Oh, come on, come on. The blob, wake up. Blob, you're better than this. Who's that? Hmm, Shitty, hi. It's been a while. We just saw you like a few episodes back. How's it been a while, Steven? Come on, man, wake up. Shitty, are your Pokemon ready for battle? Yes. No, he wasn't going to actually battle you. He's actually just going to use the Devon skill. Yeah, so. This is the Devon skill. Now the Devon scope is a very, very um. You only did it once, okay? Okay. It'll only use. It, let me just say this again. It'll only be useful for one um, one thing only, and that is um, seeing unsealable objects, so to say. Basically, um, getting those unsealable objects we've been finding in friendly gym and on that other route and um, it'll basically replace and it'll basically Cacleons will appear okay and you'll have to fight them or catch them now I think for demonstrative purpose purposes I think we're gonna catch this thing just you know because Cacleon keep in mind okay Cacleon okay we're not actually gonna use it let me, let me just say that Cacleon this is the only um, chance of getting a Cacleon in this game. Except, unless you want to try your luck on the 1% chance catch rate um, back at um, Route 118, you can actually, there's a 1% chance of finding one. So unless you want to try your luck there, I recommend you catch it if you really want to use the swing for your team. Cacleon is a very interesting Pokemon because whatever move um, your opponent uses against your Cacleon, it will shift into that type. So, for example, if the Blob uses Slug Bomb, Kecleon will turn into a um. This is just an Ultra Ball. Kecleon will turn into a um. Into a Poison type. And if I use a move like Psychic, it'll turn into a Psychic type. Flamethrower, Fire type, so on, so on. If you if you understand that. So yeah, Color Swap Pokemon. Um, no, I don't think we need a name. I see your battle style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Dufert. I would like to ca I'd like you to have this bomb spell. Who knows? There may be other concealed Pokemon. Obtain the Devon spell. I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Whoa, that that was like synchronized flying. No, not synchronized, what's the word? Time to find. It was like planned. Yeah, okay. Anyways. If we go back to Fortress City. What? It fled. Yep. <laughs> and. Winona. In the next episode, guys. In the next episode.